gay players in sports the best kept secret there is. It's a dream to be able to play with a bunch of guys that have two things in common. One, the passion for hockey, and the second thing is we're all gay. We want to show the world that we're gay and we can play this game. If you want to challenge us, challenge us. Bring it. Come on, it's going to be fun. The mission of G-Force is to show that gays make great athletes, that we can compete with heterosexuals, and that we're just like them. It's a great opportunity to play with a bunch of people who are just like me, and they share a love for hockey and a love for guys. Really nice to be in a high talent pool, as well as a gay, comfortable situation. You don't have to worry about um, what someone's thinking or what someone's going to say or if someone's going to make some derogatory statement. You get to truly reveal who you are and nobody makes fun of you because you are gay. It makes you a better player, it makes you a better person. We're here in Aspen for the fifth year playing for the Friendship Cup, which is a tournament between some of the Aspen area all-stars and some of the gay all-stars from around the country. I think our fans root for us largely because we're gay, largely because they believe us to be the underdog. And now we've won two years in a row, and this year is the fifth year, and hopefully we'll win again. This afternoon, we sent Kirby, Keith, Dave, and Luke into Aspen to get people to come to the game. We're trying to find someone who doesn't believe these gay hockey players will not kick the ass of the Euro Trash All-Stars. So uh, we're having a hockey game tonight. We're playing uh, gays versus straights. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> who do you think is going to win? They are. <laughs> I'm going for the gay team. Yeah. 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 Really? The gay team. Definitely the gay team. Yeah, the gay team. <laughs> straights are going to win. Aspen straights are going to kick some ass. Right. So, uh, do you think we can win? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You guys are straight, right? No, okay. <laughs> I got my money on the streets. The hell with the gays. Huh? We're not for the gays. I guess what I see, um, gays usually don't aren't into sports. Wow, well, they're real, really a gay athlete. What a concept. <laughs> so the there's gonna be thing. more manly men maybe on the street. Oh team. boy. Stereotyping now. I am. It's funny because it's like, still to this day, everyone has that stereotype that every gay man is a flamboyant hairdresser. My experience as a gay athlete on a straight team has been very difficult at times. I've seen the homophobia, I've seen the physical attacks. People would say gay or faggot, but I just kind of kept it in. I couldn't come out because I was in a fraternity with these guys too. Those of us who came out a little bit earlier believe there may have been a retribution. We may have been a lot more scared a lot more hesitant to express ourselves in a locker room. I would have been maybe beaten if I would have came out. So I faked it the whole way through high school, I faked it the whole way through college, I faked everything. Uh, for other guys on the team who probably came out 20 years or more before I did, things were a lot different. 20 years ago? You're scared to mention it because you don't want to be the guy pulled behind the fucking truck, dragged to death in Montana. It's about the pressure you get not to be who you are. It's like they bring their wives and I don't bring Chris. When he was on the hockey team for the gay team in Denver, these ladies would hold up a sign that say, beat those fags. You interview the younger players, it's easy for them right now, but it's because the rest of us have all gone through it. I need a breath. My hockey team at University of Pennsylvania was really receptive when I came out to them. My boyfriend actually plays on the team with me and it's the greatest experience ever. And now I get to actually have another team look at my team and maybe lose to us and say, there's a bunch of gay guys that happen to be great hockey players. And that's going to change opinions. The exposure, we're trying to get this national team together for exposure to young kids that want to come out, that are afraid to come out, they're in the closet. I'm probably pulling for the straight guys. Yeah? Why? <laughs> you guys look pretty tough, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win? You guys team, of course. <laughs> yeah? Of course. Why do you say that? Together, because you guys are all super way hotter than the straight guys. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My question is, why does there have to be a, a separate team for the gays and straights? Why can't they all play together? It's really hard coming out to your team when you're playing a, a team sport like hockey. The Friendship Cup is a way to show the heterosexual community and even the gay community that gays can be great athletes and to prove that we can play just as well as any straight guys in this area. And it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight, it just matters if you're a good hockey player in the end. We also want to help our gay youth that are out and closeted with the educational portion and the panel and to give them a role model that a lot of us never had. I think you're the straight. No. Uh, really? The gays. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> We're the gays. Yeah.
Just trying to scope out the competition tonight. I, I think you guys are in for a lot of trouble. I think the straight team might have you guys. I'm a little nervous, definitely. Yeah, it sounds like they've done some recruiting and picked up some better talent. I heard these guys are pretty good, but uh, we got a good team this year, and uh, it's going to be a good game all around. When uh, we get on the ice, I mean, here we are, a gay team, and they think they're gonna roll right over us, and the puck drops. We're playing hockey. They get checked. They're talking on the bench saying, I think we have a game going on here. You know, the first two periods were tough. They scored right away in the first period. Um, we're up on us 1-0. You know what, the turning point really was when Jesse got nailed by that guy in the face. I think they thought they'd take our thug out, our, our big, big awesome player. And what they did was they sparked the flame. We won! Yeah! The game was awesome. We won 7-3. It was, it was fantastic. I look back on that as one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had playing hockey. Um, to have people cheering for you and waving flags and you know, American flags and rainbow flags. Just imagine the impact that the Friendship Cup would have in a city like Atlanta, Georgia or Houston, Texas. Bringing an all-star gay team to that city, playing a local straight team, I think it would be profound. Everybody on this wants to get, get it out that, hey, you know, we're, we're the same as you other people, that we're not different. Give kids a chance to know that it's okay to be gay yep. and play hockey or play any sport. And I think what people realize is we're pretty good hockey players and uh, we leave the rest off the ice. To bring players together that are gay, that are of an elevated status, and to be able to get out on the ice and have chemistry and know that you're playing a great game of hockey, it's awesome. It's like a dream, seriously. That's what it is to me. Yeah! 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 Yeah!